But Hunt drove hard and got noticed. By the age of 22, he had turned professional and acquired a reputation. James had the nickname of uh, Hunt the Shunt. He was very wild, he was very determined, uh, he was very short of money, and if you put those three things together, it means that he was always pushing very, very hard to get in front. In his early days, he was a pretty hard and unpredictable chap on the track. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my team with James Hunt and the legendary Heskiff Racing Team. We have reached round four now, which is Zanvoort, but let's have a look at the calendar first and see where we are. It's the 20th of April, we've got uh, just under two weeks before the next Grand Prix, which is the Dutch Grand Prix on the 30th. We've got some running costs to get through as well. Let's have a look at the calendar now and see what we can fill it up with. Well, if it was James Hunt, he'd like to say on the 21st, it's uh, Air Stewardesses. On the 22nd, it's Nurses. And uh, on the 23rd, it's probably a complete Olympic uh, swimming team. Yes. But unfortunately, we haven't got that option. So we've got to attend an F1 esports event, which sounds very, very boring indeed. So we've got four days left to fill. What can James Hunt put in those four days? Well, I think knowing James Hunt, he's probably going to go for something that's three days. Uh, yes, an aero department focus at least in one day on the 29th for some complete debauchery at his uh, penthouse suite before the Grand Prix on the 30th at Zanvoort. Okay, let's have a look and see what else we've got at the moment. As you can see, unfortunately, we haven't got enough money. We've got 1.31 million. We have got the option to uh, do some upgrades to our second driver, Louis Delatraz, but of course, uh, yes, well, he's slightly improved second driver's experience. Well, he's not going to bother doing that, is he? Because we don't want any improvements in our second driver. Otherwise, it could show up James. And No, that's not happening. So let's have a look at the resource points now and see what we can do. Once again, James Hunt's going for the engine. And we're just having a look and you can see that, uh, well, unfortunately, all our engine development parts are actually uh, being made at the moment. So we can't increase any of that. And just look, we're almost at the halfway point of the engine development which is really good. So we're going to do something to the aero, just put a little aero bit on the car and so we can now continue our race. Let's have a look and see where we are in the engine department. Oh, it's 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 not looking good, I have to say. It's not looking good. Yes, we've got 78% uh, wear. So I think we're going to have to apply some uh, new components to this car because it's looking very, very threadbare at the moment. Yeah, yeah, so we're going to put in... What about the motor generator kinetic? Yes, we're just going to replace all these parts for the next round. So, as you can see, we're on my perks now. And uh, I think James is going to uh, blow all the cash, uh, pretty much all of this £1 million, on all these perks. Uh, yes, because he, f he feels like he needs to spend some cash, so that's exactly what he's going to do. So he spent some on social media team, power mapping, some media coaching. Oh, no, he's not going to bother with that one. He's not gonna, he doesn't need any coaching, does James Hunt. But he is going to do some resource point income. Yes. Oh, no, he's, he's gone back to the media coach and he's decided he's going to do that as well. So we have almost blown all the budget. We've got 336,000 left. And it's time now to advance the time. Okay, so now it's time for James Hunt to do a boring press interview. Here we are in the HQ of our newest Formula One team. We've got an awful lot to talk about. So let's jump straight in. Well, here we Let's go. talk about your new second driver. How are they settling in? Now, which one is James Hunt going to pick? Oh, a driver that can really push it. No, surely James is not going to pick. No, good wingman. Well done, James. Well done indeed. Will your team be going for the Constructors' Championship this season or just for points? What's he going to pick now? What's he going to pick? Uh, going, for, going for titles. Yes, top lad. Your team's been picking up points fairly consistently. Do you think you'll be able to become a challenge to the top teams in the future? And I think he's going to pick... Planning on winning. Okay then, it's time now to move on to Zandvoort for round four. So, on to qualify, of course, this is a brand new circuit for James Hunt, so he's not expecting to do very well, in fact, as he crosses the line, and it's sixth place at the moment. Wowzers, not too bad, though, not too shabby indeed for James Hunt there. 
straight out of the gates at this Zandvoort circuit. Anyway, a little bit later into qualifying, you can see James Hunt is down to 10th place now. 10th position, he's going to improve on that to cross the line. The answer to that is going to be... Yes, he does, up into 9th place now. Fantastic for the Heskiff car there and James Hunt. Anyway, a little bit later to qualify and you can see, oh my goodness, James Hunt is down to 21st place, 21st position. But is he going to improve on that as he crosses the line now? Yes, that is going to be a resounding... No. No. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. It was 35 years ago that the late great Nicky Lauda took his 25th and final Grand Prix win here at Zandvoort. He came from 10th on the grid to beat his McLaren teammate Alan Prost by just two tenths of a second. Well, Zandvoort is a very different circuit today, of course, but still one with an incredible legacy. And we're going to add to that. Welcome along to the 2020 Dutch Grand Prix. Zandvoort circuit, 14 corners, 10 to the right and 4 to the left, with plenty of steep camber and elevation changes to keep our drivers on their toes throughout a 2.6 mile lap. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Vettel, Leclerc, Lewis Hamilton and Albon, Perez, Norris, Ricardo, and Carlos Sainz, Stroll, Ocon, Roman Grosjean and Kvyat, Gasly, Magnussen, Antonio Giovinazzi and Kimi Raikkonen, Hunt, Russell, Delatraz and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. So as we form up on the grid, you can see James Hunt is starting in 19th position, but he is ahead of his teammate, Louis Delatraz. OK, it's time now for the five lights to go out on the James Hunt career mode. And we say go, go, go. And it's away he goes. Wow, now the rocket ship starts for the life of James Hunt. Managed to get past both the Alphas. Both the Alphas already have into 17th position now. And he's going to go for a move down the inside of a low, huge amount of cars. Yes. Uh, he's trying to get past both of the uh, McLarens as well, but at the moment he's holding on to 11th place. Yes, 11th position. Fantastic move there from James Hunt in the Heskiff car. He's now trying to go around the outside of both of these McLaren cars, but he's just got to hold. Oh, contact, contact with, I think that was Lance Stroll. I think that was Lance Stroll and Lance has gone round. Wow, as he gets a warning and the safety car, the safety car has come out because of that incident with Lance Stroll. Wow, it's all going off on the first lap then, so we are behind Lando Norris and the McLaren in the 11th position at the moment. We'll go to a replay and see exactly what happened there with Lance Stroll. So let's go to the replay. So there you go then, there is Lance Stroll, there is James Hunt just off the far left. You can see if he's going okay at the moment. And uh, yes, so James Hunt just gets past Lance Stroll there. Not a problem, not a problem indeed. But a little bit later into this next turn, you can see that James Hunt, I think he's going to make slight contact with Lance Stroll. He goes round and he's hit the wall. The front wing has come off for Lance Stroll as well. Oh my goodness. Let's have another look from the rear view of Lance Stroll. And you can see just a tiny bit of contact there between him and James Hunt. And he's off. And that's what caused the safety car to come out. So this is now still the first lap of the race and we are under safety car conditions and holding station behind Lando Norris. He's got Carlos Sainz, his teammate in front of him. And behind us, we've got Esteban Ocon and of course that Renault car. So of course, we're gonna do the normal strategy and that is to come in for our pit stop very, very early because of course, hopefully the tires will last. It's only a 25% race, so we should be fine for tire wear before we get to the end of this uh, beautiful, I have to say, beautiful Zandvoort circuit. Now, both these uh, new circuits, this one and the one at Hanoi, have been uh, pretty controversial, because especially the Hanoi one, because everyone hates it. But as time has gone on, people have learned to love these circuits. And I have to say, especially this circuit, is really, really growing on James Hunt. Yes, really, really growing him. Anyway, in for our pit stop now, we change from the soft tyre onto the harder tyre, which is yellow cycle tyre. Strategy that's complete. going to take us for the CB rest of this Grand Prix, now. hopefully anyway. We should be okay, we should be okay. We're going to do a few more laps on the safety car and then it'll be time to go green again and it'll be time to say go, go, go. So we rejoin in 21st position. We're ahead of Lance Stroll, but obviously he's had to come into the pits because he lost the complete uh, front wing on his car. 
and uh, oh my goodness we're behind Louis Delatraz anyway as you can see on lap three now still the safety car but we've got a smoking car it's Nicholas Latifi in the Williams and he falls off the circuit wowzers so we came up one position now up into 20th Latifi, place and Latifi out is race. out of the race obviously we're now behind our teammate Louis Delatraz as we accelerate forward out of lap clear. three lap three green and the green flag has gone because the safety car is now coming and we're going to try and see if we can get past Louis Delatraz is he? look at this he goes straight to the middle of the circuit but James Hunt just sidles down the inside of Louis Delatraz and makes contact with I think that's Kimi Raikkonen as well yes he does up into 16th position now for James Hunt though 16th place wowzers 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 and now he's chasing the next uh, target which is Kevin Magnussen in of course the Husk car oh my goodness once again aggressive driving from James Hunt he takes no prisoners in his driving very very similar style to uh, Ayrton Senna of course yes as he was described several times throughout his career Anyway, let's see if we okay, can catch up to the back energy. of Kevin Magnussen, who's currently in 15th place. We're still in 16th position. Kimi Raikkonen behind in 17th, and Giovinazzi behind his teammate in 18th position. This is now lap four of the Grand Prix at uh, Zandavort. Yes, Zandavort. As I say, this track is now growing on a lot of people the more they play it. Uh, Hanoi is still pretty Hanoi, though. No, you know, we may grow to love it. We may grow to love it. Uh, hopefully next year we'll be able to actually see it uh, in real life and see exactly what happens. Anyway, Valtteri Bottas has just put a fast stuff to come around the bank in there uh, on lap four now, just going into lap five, I do believe. Yes, lap five. And James Hunt at the moment is still in 16th position and still ever chasing Kevin Baggers in that last car. Now, of course, he's got quite a few cars ahead of him, which is compromising his overall speed, which is giving James Hunt the ability catch up to the back of Kevin Magnussen he's now going very very close to the back of K-Mag at the moment he's just hanging on to this 16th position of course James Hunt has made it stop a lot of the other cars haven't so we should gain some positions and hopefully get into the world championship points before the end of this race that is the plan anyway as you can also see uh, on the graphic on the right hand side we have some uh, wear on our car I do believe that's gearbox at the moment yes the gearbox is uh, pretty worn it's up to about the 70s at the moment but we will hang on because every other part is good every other part is good because we replaced it before the start of this Grand Prix so oh my goodness and James Hunt has hit the curves and that's given the opportunity for Kerry Reichlin to get a move on him and dive down the inside but James Hunt is not going to like that at all he's going to be very very angry at that cockpit because he accidentally uh, got caught on that kerb in there so he's going to see if he can dive down the inside of Kimi Wagner he's got the DRS on full of course now all the DRS has now been enabled and he's going for a dive on Kimi Wagner and he dives down the inside yes does he get through yes he does Browser. so he gets his place back back into 16th position now and still chasing Kevin Magnussen on lap 6 oh my goodness what can you say he's just a hard charger is James Hunt a very very hard charger in Anyway, we accelerate forward now on lap 8. Just going past the pit, and it looks like some cars are coming at last. So James Hunt is going to gain a few positions. Just up in 12th place now. Still chasing k May And can't quite... Oh, the car come out of the pit. I don't know who that is. But yet, he can't quite gain much uh, ground on Kevin Banks at the moment. But we're still pulling on. Anyway, lap 9 now. And k May finally comes into the pit, as you can see. So all we're going to the points. Yes, we are. Up into 8th position for James Hunt. On lap 10, well, we all said that he was going to be unfit. Oh, and Hamilton's just come out of the pits. Hamilton has come out of the pits. Oh, we're going to see if we can get past uh, Lewis Hamilton. I don't think it's going to be possible because his car is very, very fast indeed. I think we're going to catch him for the next few corners and then I think he's going to be away and gone. But we're going to give it you know, our all. Yes, James Hunt is going to see if he can get past Lulu. But already you can see that he is pulling away. It's Lewis Hamilton. He's pulling away. So uh, that's going to be a no for James Hunt, who's going to stay in 8th position. But even 8th place in our Hesketh Racing Team car, car just which is not very competitive, it has to be said, is looking very good indeed. Anyway, on to lap 10 now. Lap 10, just coming around the banking once more. Still holding on to this 8th position. Uh, I think there's a couple more cars, though, coming to the pits. Yes, they have. So we've now gone up into, where are we now? Yes, 6th position. Hamilton ahead, Vettel, oh no, wait a minute, now uh, Vettel swap positions with Charles Leclerc and our teammate is now Louis in the pits, of course, Louis Delatraz, but he is way down the field, way down the field at the moment and we are still chasing Lewis Hamilton, getting ever closer to him, of course, because he's got some trouble ahead, that's Charles Leclerc in the Ferrari. And just looking at the tyres, you can see 22% wear at the moment, so we are looking pretty decent 
as we accelerate forward down to lap 15. Yes, lap 15. Nothing else has really happened in this race, and we are still chasing Howarder, but you can see from the mini-map now that he has absolutely pulled out a huge gap on us in that Mercedes car, a huge gap. And we've got a car behind us now, which is uh, Alexander Albon, of course, in the Red Bull. Getting very, very close to our rear end. As we accelerate forward down to lap 17. Lap 17, just going into the final lap of this race. You can see the graphic is telling us that our wear is getting worse and of course is for the gearbox. Anyway, into the final this lap of final this lap. race. Final Last chance for Alexander Albon in that Red Bull to try and get seconds. past us. Uh, but we're going to see if we can hang on to this sixth position. Of course, we're on the medium tyre and uh, Alexander Albon is also on the medium tyre. And look at this, everyone. Lance Stroll is in eighth position. What a fantastic comeback. Absolutely sensational. You know, it's just like uh, someone's put a Mercedes engine in the back of that car and basically the wings, the chassis, and uh, the vents and the brakes and just about everything really and made that into a really, really competitive car, allegedly. Anyway, we continue. We continue on. Yes, in sixth position for James Hunt. We've still got Alexander Albon directly behind us and Lance Stroll is behind him. Charles Leclerc is ahead of Lewis Hamilton in fourth position now. Yes, so it looks like we are going to go. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, it's okay. Uh, what's this? Max Verstappen has won the race. Max Verstappen has won the race just as Valtteri Bottas put in a fastest lap there almost at exactly the same time. And uh, so it looks like we are going to cross the line and get some serious points for our campaign in sixth place. As we come around the banking for the last time, we're going to cross in sixth place. Fantastic. Well done, James. Well done indeed. He's going to be well happy with that. Yes, right, we over. may celebrate with at least 24 in. air stewardesses at the end of this show. Yes, possibly 24 stewardesses. And he gets driver of the day as well. Wowzers. Yes, it's time for some more pit girls, lads. Craw, craw, fuck you, feminists. <laughs> look at that. Just look at that. Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. Oh, very nice. Very nice indeed, ladies. Oh, yes. Give us a big smile. We like a big smile, don't we? Oh, my goodness. Police officers. Police officers. Well, you can arrest me anytime you want, ladies. You can arrest me anytime you want because I've been a very, very naughty boy. A very, very naughty boy indeed. <coughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, moving on. Moving on. So, as you can see... There is Mr. Pitching Christian Horner, but once again celebrating with his uh, team how did they manage to and there is the winner, Maxi Boy Verstappen. Oh my goodness, life really does imitate art. Yes, it really does. And there's Arava and x G all in the same shot. Fantastic. Here come today's Fantastic. winners, the team And there he is, up on the top step, Maxi Boy. It's clear to there's Vettel and there's... And they about should be proud to Bottas. Of the but more importantly than that, of course, Mr. James Hunt got some points as well. Sixth position for the Heskiff Racing Team. Unfortunately, not up there on the podium, but it's all good. It's all good. As the champagne goes over everyone once again. Let's have a look and see what the championship standings are now, then. And so you can see you that I have to give it we to Hunt. are still there was a lot going in sixth on all down the field, position the only one who I really uh, felt with 35 world it's championship time to see points. How Vasily Bottas is currently in the lead with 70 world championship points. Mercedes continue and to Lewis extend their lead. third place. Well, and our teammate Louis Della tries is right at the back of the field with no points whatsoever. What a bloody loser. What a bloody loser. Oh, it's time for an interview now with Claire. Oh my goodness. Time for those questions, Claire. Time for those questions. What's he going to pick? What's James Hunt going to pick? Strategy? Cut it through the field. What's your strategy? Uh, foot to the floor. Yes, that's a James your Hunt answer. If ever I heard one. The team must be ecstatic. Uh, yet, yeah, maybe, but you can't get complacent. Yes, well done, James. Well done. Things were close between you and Roman. It looks like you're coming on top. Oh, Roman is good, but he's not on my level. Fantastic. Fantastic. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. More controversy from James Hunt. What else have we got? What else have we got? Oh, he's decided not to comment on that. Well, yeah, well, he'll be having her in the garage later, as well as everyone else. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, everyone. You've been awesome as always. Next Grand Prix is a Spanish Grand Prix from Spain. <laughs> Thank you. 
and good night.